Hi everyone, Susie Homemaker. Uh, like I said in a previous video, my nurse I'm wearing some of the same clothing. I'm on break right now. It's the weekend and I wanted to get a bunch of videos done at once and some of them are kind of short and so it's easy for me to uh, kind of do a batch of videos. Uh, this video is about a Williams Sonoma haul, which might seem really weird because I've been talking a lot about eco friendly, going zero low waste, uh, and thrift stores. Uh, so, kind of the backstory is a few years ago, a family friend of ours gave me a gift card, gift certificate to Williams Sonoma, and I used it to purchase like one. Thing. Um, and it's been in my wallet for the past four years. Um, I haven't really used it and I got tired of carrying it around. It's like I'm just gonna go after a Christmas sale and get a few things. So I wanted to show you what I got. Um, I think we're decent prices for Williams Sonoma. Uh, and so I wanted to show you that. Some of the first things I got. I got two of these jars and I'm pretty sure this is BPA free plastic and I know a lot of people want to go plastic free but the reason I got these jars is because when I make homemade like mouthwash or some cleaners that have vinegar and the acids they actually eat away at the tin and then I have rust I don't want that when I make mouthwash and so I was looking for an alternative solution and I happened to find these jars at Williams Sonoma. These are the last two jars I had, and I swooped them up, and they were about five dollars each. I think it's a little on the steeper side, but pretty good for Williams Sonoma. And I can't wait to make my mouthwash and put them in here. So I'm currently going through some. So when I get done, I will maybe post a video on what I did for that. So that was one of the first things. Uh, another thing that was kind of unexpected for me to buy, but I did anyway, is I got barbecue sauce. This is a pale ale barbecue sauce. We love barbecue in our house. We make uh, burgers, we cook veggies, we smoke things. My husband loves smoked almonds. Uh, it's one of the things we learned how to do on our smoker. And I got this because it was on sale. It was on clearance. It's $9, which I think is pretty pricey for barbecue sauce. But the main reason I got it is because I've been wanting some of these jars um, for holding like lemon juice or if I make my own homemade soda or ketchup, things like that. I wanted more of these jars and it was already there. I was trying to use up the rest of my gift certificate. And so I bought this mostly for the jar, but then we also got the barbecue sauce inside. Another thing I got, we went through a bunch of our kitchen appliances, kitchenware, uh, to kind of start off the new year a little bit fresher, uh, kind of downsizing our kitchen. We got rid of our electric juicer. We bought it because uh, I make a lot of like lemon pie. We don't make a lot of orange juice, but we use it mostly for lemons. It was in the back of our cupboard. We never used it really. We've had it for probably have it for six or seven years, and I can count the times we used it on one hand. And so I didn't see the need for it. Uh, it was just really bulky to bring out for, to use for two minutes. So what I did instead is I got this all wood uh, juicer for whenever we we're doing lime juice, lemon juice, orange juice. Whatever we need, we have this. It's so much smaller. This was a little pricier than I probably would normally pay for it. It was like $10. They had a couple other options. They had ceramic ones, but I didn't want the ceramic ones because I didn't want it to break. I am pretty clumsy and I tend to break those things. But I got this because I had that gift card. Uh, the last thing I got... I've been using reusable napkins maybe three, two, three years now, maybe a little longer. I can't, I can't 100% remember. Maybe, maybe a bit longer than three years. Um, but 
we use them a lot. I'm trying to get rid of paper towels now. My husband brings them to work and sometimes he forgets to bring them back. If he can't bring them back, I can't wash them. And so they were having a sale on their linens and I found these ones, which I really like. They're really heavy duty. They're made in India, but they're 100% cotton. Um, we actually already used these, so I thought I'd show you them before I threw them in the wash. <laughs> but I got two of these. They were $6.95. They're 20% off. They're really thick. They're really heavy duty. And I often reuse my napkins over a couple meals. So I might use one napkin for a whole day or a day or two. So I thought these would be really good for that. So I got six items from William Sonoma and my gift card was for about $45 and I pretty much stayed where I wanted to with that. Uh, I went a little bit over, I got a piece of candy from my husband um, because they wouldn't give me the remaining balance on my gift card. It was like a dollar I had left. I didn't want to throw the dollar away. It was a piece of like peppermint candy. My husband loves peppermint and so I bought that um, to give to him. But I was really happy with all the things I got. I'm really, really excited, especially for these jars and our juicer. And so I just wanted to show you what I got at William Sonoma. Thanks for watching. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it or leave me a comment about what you would like to see. Um, if I get around to making my recipe, if you want to see how I made that or what else I might put in these jars because they don't have the metal rim that gets eaten away by acids. Uh, I'll put a link to my blog below if you want to look up some more DIY tips or some recipes for food and I think I have my toothpaste recipe up there as well. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.